Hey, what's going on guys, it's me JD. Today, we're going to look at the top 10 facts about Anastasia Romanoff that you probably never knew about. So let's go. All right, before we start, um, let's just make something clear. I really hope you watch this movie before this. There's actually a movie called Anastasia. Um, a lot of you guys have heard of this and the people who are watching have probably watched it, watched the movie and then now you're watching this video. If not, definitely go watch the uh, movie after this video or before this. But nothing is going to spoil the movie in this. And I'm just going to be covering a little bit of facts from that movie. So number one is by the time that she was born, um, their parents or her parents actually wanted a son. And she wasn't a son. So her dad was actually pretty mad. And her dad's name is um, Alex. And her dad was super mad. And he could not control himself. He would just be walking around, running around. And he, he, was re he really wanted a son because they already had a lot of daughters before her. So now that... Her dad doesn't like her. That kind of started off a lot of things that actually went wrong from there. And all of that was triggered by this one fact that she was a girl in a family where they had a bunch of girls before her. So there's actually a bunch of people who were rioting back then. And to celebrate Anastasia's birthday, Nikki, her mom, actually pardoned a bunch of people who were, in, who were imprisoned. Or yeah, so they were all in prison and she's kind of pardoned them. And this was supposed to be like a birthday gift for Anastasia. But the correlation between that is unknown. And in the comment section below, guys, go let me know if that's a really good birthday present where you just pardon people who are rioting for for your birthday. If you want that as a gift, go let me know. Number three is that one of Anastasia's nickname was actually Shiv Shiverbik. Um, I'm going to put it right there. Yeah, so that's the name. And that basically just means like imp. And that's just like a personality that she had. So as like a direct deflection of her personality, they called her imp. And that's basically why she had that as her nickname. So Anastasia was really smart and she really liked um, to be bright and she actually had a lot of good knowledge in her, but she hated the classroom. So she, she hated going to class, she hated being stuck in class, and she did a lot of things to actually escape, which we'll be looking at. Number five is that to get out of class, what she would do is she would actually climb onto a tree and she would just not want to get down. She would like hide and not want to go to class. So she's like a normal kid, but she was really smart. She just didn't want to go to class. So she did all these different like, you know, shenanigans to try to get out of going to class. One of the people that she really idolized and she really um, wanted to be like was her father. So she was really close to him and she really looked up to him. And he, of course, wanted her to be his son. So there's always that gap between them, but she never really like knew that. And she always wanted to treat like her dad, like a normal, she wanted to have a normal, like son or normal daughter and father relationship with her dad but he always wanted to have a father and son relationship but she wasn't a son number seven is that and she's super energetic and she always liked running around and doing like activities and one of the things she really liked to do was pulling pranks on people so this was really fun for her and she enjoyed this but the people who were getting pranked didn't really enjoy it all that um all that often and sometimes they get really mad at her and this would really cause them to get upset and she would get in a lot of trouble for pulling these pranks so her sisters were actually super famous for their appearance and they really cared about their appearance and they would always try to like patch it up and make so many adjustments to themselves. But Anastasia on the other hand did not care about her appearance as much. She cared more about, she cared more about like her like true feeling and her like smarts and her heart rather than she did about her physical appearance. Anastasia's sufferance with her physical health was really like well known. She had a lot of bunions and weak muscles in her back. And this was really bad for her because her physical health would, would always like just degrade and she she couldn't really keep up with that in any way and that's one of the reasons why she didn't really care about her physical appearance because she had to care more about physical her actual physical health and actually keeping herself healthy number 10 is that to actually get rid of her like back pain and stuff like that she would she was actually prescribed to get massages twice every week but she hated these massages because she had to just lie there and do nothing. So she would actually hide under the bed or run around and go hide, climb a tree, and do the, do the things that she would to get out of class at home because she did not like getting massages. So guys, that's it for part one. This is just like a quick intro of Anastasia for people who ask me in the comment section and people who DM me. Thank you for your involvement. This is for you guys. There will be a part two that goes more in depth with like what exactly happened. I just want to give you guys this short video as a quick intro of the whole, like of who she is and her personality. So that way you won't get lost in the second video. So guys, Instagram right there. Make sure you guys like the video, share the video and subscribe. Yeah, do that. Um, You guys know what to do. Comment section below. Tell me more videos you want. Stay tuned for part two. I'll see you next time. Bye.